My god, Squid on the mic. Choice off. Game two, just one game one. What a lucker. Did you see the cloud before saving his life? That's some Air Force stuff. He's like, I know you're going to be flying around me, so I'm going to catch you right now because you're going to need it. Sawyer choosing to go to that final destination instead of Dreamland. I have no idea which is the correct choice between these two, but I think they're totally fine. I don't think Troy's the type of player who's just going to, like, zero to death chain grab him. Um, so he can probably do pretty well here just by like camping with lasers and stuff. Oh my god, nice. He just run right under her. Nice. Oh, these down smashes are desperate. But Sawyer's not falling for him this time. But he might. Oh, but he gets the back air. Oh, Troy almost getting the edge guard. That would have been huge. But he stays alive. Whoever gets the first kill here gets to camp a lot more. Because this is the stage where like they're kind of going to camp. Oh, Sawyer gets the first kill. I'm not sure Troy had to die there. Maybe he wasted his jump somewhere. I don't know. But not a big lead he's just like one random hit away from getting the kill but sometimes it's really hard to get but it wasn't hard to get this time Sora gets hit by the down smash gets like three hits all right now Troy's gonna float over when she's doing this I think it's better to just wait like you just kind of wait for her to fall and then hit her with a laser grab or something there he laser grab but he missed the grab so he gets down smash which is a huge button oh my god okay that's a pretty low percent kill though that's pretty big because now Troy doesn't have to approach as much oh but he gets a random bird smash I mean, it wasn't totally random. It was a laser force. Oh my god! Sawyer is so lucky right now that Troy is a benevolent ruler with her princess crown choosing to save her people. Oh my god. Oh, Sawyer's weaving. Weaving! Let's see, but Troy right now still has the lead. If he can survive this, Sawyer needs to get the edge guard. Oh, that was way too early of an upbeat. He needs to float a lot closer and like threaten Sawyer's space a little bit before he goes to that upbeat kind of mix it up and stuff oh let's go that was a good up tilt he could have gotten it oh a little bit faster all right so he's brought it back now he's staying safe that's the big thing with peach is that she always has big hitboxes she doesn't move around a lot but it's really easy to just run into hitboxes like hit her shield like that he just ran into a hitbox dude that wasn't like oh my god mayor what big hitboxes you have all the better to gimp you with 
Oh, nice Nair. Sora's not dead, though. Oh, that was not invincible. If you, like, grab the edge and immediately jump side B, you're invincible. But Sora, like, hesitated, and then he's like, oh, yeah, I should side B. But it was too late. Should have refreshed invincibility or done a different option. Oh, okay. That was a mistake, but he got a back air off of it. And if he gets his kill, 20% is nothing. It ain't nothing. SpongeBob. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta avoid the fair. Troid looks like he likes to do like a, a aerial and a down smash instead of aerial and the grab or aerial and the dash attack or something. Aerial and the down smash is what he likes to do. So if you just space outside the down smash after the aerial, you can likely get a punish, which is what Sawyer seems to be doing. Although sometimes he gets caught. Oh, he has the lead though. That was a good grab. Get the down air. His whole body went into that down air too. Moves do more damage if you kind of jump with them. Oh, okay. Okay, this is not a lead at all. Oh my god! Oh, he gets the kill off of that. Oh my god. That was like as early as you could have gotten the kill too.